And the blue. Good size, man. Yeah. Perfect eaters. Look at that. Wow. That's a dude. That looks like a tarpon. It is a tarpon. There we go. Fish on. Look at that. Ooh. And fish for the rest of your life. That's all. These guys are probably done. Snook. I didn't see it. It was big. Win. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at them. Yeah, it's a whole school of them. Oh, this is pretty salty. You gotta don't play with fire, JC. You're gonna get burnt. Big hand picked shrimp. Oh, dang, dude, that was a monster. There he is. There we go. Dude, it's a he big, heavy fish. 20 pound leader, man. I'm camping. I'm gonna be here for like four days. One fish, two fish, blue fish. These shrimp are like baby lobsters. Hey Rad Reelers, JC here with Rad Reeling Fishing. I'm fishing the East Coast today, you guys. I'm hanging out with Bush from the Fish On hey, channel. Guys. Yeah, we're gonna tear them up, guys. We're, we're going excited. for big snook and redfish and pompano and anything that we can catch. But we're gonna be fishing this pier that is the most popular pier on the East Coast. It's gonna be mayhem over here. And I'm excited about it. We're gonna catch some fish today, oh, right? We are. We are. We're gonna try, though. <laughs> yeah. Same promise. Yeah, but yeah. It looks like it's a good day. We should be able to catch whatever bites in this area, guys. Heck yeah. All right, well, we got some big live shrimp. Let's do it. Let's go. Hey guys, we are fishing with big hand-picked shrimp. Monsters. I'm just hooking these guys the way I like to hook shrimp from underneath. Small hook. This is probably a uh, one-aught. Two times strong Gamagatsu hook, so. There we go. Fish on. All right, guys. First fish of the day. Old Jack. Thanks, buddy. See ya. Nice. It's been a few minutes, maybe 20 minutes. That's the second bite I've had. And uh, just free lining a shrimp. Little Jack, baby. Got him. Seen this before? You Hold done up. this before? Hold up, I'm getting a good oh, hit. I did this one. I was in the piling. Got it? No, no, you have fish. He's, He's got it. Huh? He's got it. Uh, I can't stop this one, dude. Yeah, that's a drum. You let him get you behind it. Keep pulling that way. Keep him that way. Yeah. Nice. All right, guys. Just lost a fish. Let's get rigged up. All right, guys, I'm gonna tie this on with a uni to uni knot. A 20 pound test braid and 30 pound test fluorocarbon leader. Guys, look at, look at the size of these shrimp. Amazing. All right, guys, I am re-rigged. The fish hit it straight down, whatever it was. I always say fish around structure, man. And you come up to a spot, everybody casts way out and uh, fish like to hang around the structure. So we'll see. Like, no, I like it, dude. I hooked, good, right? I had a big fish down there. That's oh, exciting. Are... I like it when I know there's big fish around. Well, you should yeah. see how big the rats and snooks are here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, oh there's that blue fish. Oh, that's a snook. What? I think, or it's big blue. Big, oh, big blue. blue. Nice. Like Snoop. Oh, guys, this is a giant blue, and I got him on the light rod. I hope he doesn't break me. Come on. And you're talking about catch putting a blue. Just see what's safe. Does your camera come unclip? No. Does it clip unclip? Oh no, this one no. It's just stuck on there. Okay. I was gonna say take it off. I'll film you. Oh, you got me. It, if you want to. No, I'll keep it. <laughs> I'm gonna make you lose your fish. I gotta. I gotta make. I gotta make Bush lose his fish. Oh, see, it's all my fault. Hey, all my fault. It's all right. All my fault. It's all fish. Guys, I was trying to be a, a fancy filming YouTuber. Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah, instead of being a fisherman, I was trying to be fancy. So what happened as soon as I I give him a break? <laughs> so he kind of swallowed the whole thing. I'm sorry, man. I That's won't mess fine. with we'll you. We'll catch them. We'll catch them. They're here. <laughs> Giant black drum. Try not to get hooked here. A lot of people casting baits. Some experienced fishermen out here. Hey, Brad. 
Hey, what's up? <laughs> no way! Oh, this is hilarious, man. How you doing, man? Pleasure to meet you. Yeah, man. it's good to meet you too. Nice hey, to meet Hector. you. Nice yes, to meet sir. you, man. This is, hey, this is my son Josiah. Hey, Josiah. I gotta get a I picture with you guys. Nice to meet you. Awesome. We Thank you. Tell them what we do for dinner for the past what four years. Cook fish. Cook fish. We sit down for dinner, man. We sit back and we watch you, brother. Nice. That's all we do, man. Nice. I've learned so much it. from you. Man. Hey, guys. I was just walking down the pier here and uh, met a couple of new friends at Hector, right? Hector, yeah. Hector and yeah. Josiah. Josiah. And, uh, yeah, they stopped. Hey, Rad. And they're from Tampa, and we're all the way on the East Coast now. So, but yeah, they've been wa watching the videos. How, how many fish have you guys caught today? We got a big drum and a big spot of sea trout, about a 22, 23 inch drum. Nice. About a good uh, 19 inch, uh, 18, 19 inch spot of sea trout. Awesome. It's your first yeah. time here, too, first right? First time here, loving it. Loving yeah. It. Yeah, this Absolutely. place is getting crazy with people. But how about you? Have you caught anything? Not today, but no? I'm still doing it. Yeah, what's your, what's your biggest fish? Probably a grouper. A grouper? And uh, what? What, 20 pounds? 10 pounds? Like 20. 20? Dude, that's like, like huge. Under, under. Nice. Like 18 maybe? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Keep up the good work, man. Fish for the rest of your life. No, never stop fishing. John B says keep fishing, never stop. Right? <laughs> awesome. Thanks, guys. All right, guys. Had to take a break. Let's get back at it. There he is. Here we go. This on? Yeah. This on. Little blue. Thanks. There we go. That's little blue fish. He's all yours, man. No problem. <laughs> we can. Yeah, yeah. Awesome, dude. Yeah. I put an extra little weight on there. It just nice. wasn't getting down fast nice. enough. All I right, guys. That thing gonna work. Yeah, that's what I got them on, guys. A little mirror lure with the chartreuse tail. There we oh, dude. Got hammered. There he is. There we go. Fish on. They're way out there. Catching the blues, baby. That's the way we do it. All right. And the blue. No, you can have him. Yeah. Guys, they're tearing my paddle tail to pieces here. All right, guys. Bluefish bite is on fire over here. Looks like bush is hooked up. There he is. There we go. Fish on, baby. Ah, uh, about the same size as the other one. Little blue fish. All right. These guys are hitting it. They're hitting it way out there. I got a little small white uh, plastic lure. Do you jig it? Yeah, yeah, I'm throwing it, throwing it out there as far as I can and let it sink. And then I just jig it two or three times and let it sink and jig it again. Got us another blue. Hey, buddy. Hey, what's your name? Killian. Killian? 
Yeah. Nice name. Um, here, you can have this. Okay. This is that's what I'm catching on, and then I just crimp that right on the front because okay. the current's running so fast. Yeah. And I just throw it out there, let it sink, okay. and then I just jerk it two or three times, let it sink, jerk it two or three times. Okay. And, Thank uh, you. Yeah, blue fish. Blue, blue fish. I call like three blue fish. But they were they were way out there when I got them. Yeah, like a YouTube channel or something? Yeah, rad reeling fishing. Right. R A D. And then reeling like a reel. That's all. Well that fish has got to get back in the water anyway. Oh yeah. Yeah. You can film me right now. Yeah, I got you man. Awesome. Thank you. There's mul multiple species out here. People catching black drum and Spanish mackerel. Redfish, bluefish, snook. Look, this is Sebastian Inlet Mayhem right here. You got everybody's getting hooked up. All right, guys, let's see if we can get hooked up with another blue fish. There he is. Fish on. This little guy here. Oh, there he is. He was just swimming fast. He was just swimming fast. Oh, he's got one fall on him. Nice. Yeah, man. Got another one. <laughs> See? Yeah. This bluefish bite is on fire. They're they're way out there. Though I just cast out as far as I can cast, let it sink, jig it two or three times, and bam, gotcha. I don't know. I think that's number five. A lot of fun. A whole bunch of fun. It's so glad to meet you. Very nice to meet you. And thank you for the fishing tips. Yeah, thank you for watching. All right, maybe I'll see you again. Hey, look right here. There's some, there's, I don't oh, know yeah, if you can see it. see it. Can you see there's two big fish yeah, right I there? It. Wait, what is that? I can't tell what they are. They're big, though. They're huge. Wow. See where I'm pointing? Right straight out there, there's two of them. Oh, look at them. Yeah, there's a whole school of them. Oh, yeah, there you go. There you go. Bunch of them. That's a big blue. I saw that. Big blue. There we go. Fish on. That's a good one. Coming up. Another bluefish, guys. One fish, two fish, bluefish. All right, thanks for the catch, fella. See ya. All right, guys, imagine that. Got us a nice, big, fat bluefish. They are so much fun. But these boats out here, they just caught a huge redfish a little while ago. But that little corner right there, that's a hot spot, man. Everybody's catching bluefish over there. Every now and then they run down here where I'm at. But that was a huge school of them. I mean, like 30 or 40 of them that came through. And a couple of really big fish. I couldn't tell what they were. But just having an absolute blast out here. 
I don't know, it's probably like noon maybe. Got out here about eight o'clock. Just having a good old time, dude. Heck yeah. Nobody's really catching any snook right now. So one got hooked into one earlier. But look at the size of these rolling waves coming in here. Really big. It must be pretty shallow out there. All right. Having a good time. Oh gosh. I am I'm camping. I'm gonna be here for like four days. So I got my kayak. We're gonna have a good time, definitely. We're gonna be doing some catch and cook, some camping, kayak fishing, so woohoo! Nice. Busy out here, man. Look at all these people, dude. Watch out. Good job, man. Thank you. Big jacks. Several jacks this morning been caught. Nice. All right, guys. We're switching back to shrimp here. Oh, my gosh. These things are like, they seriously, these shrimp are like baby lobsters. Guys, look at the size of that shrimp, dude. The thing is huge. Giant. Yeah. Them up. Turn them up. Ah, oh, nice. We're gonna go down and jig for some pompano. The guy just caught a big pompano down here. I took a break from trying to catch bluefish because I caught so many bluefish, and then uh, I switched over to shrimp. I jigged for pompano for a little while, so. I'm gonna try and get back on the bluefish here, see what happens. Fish on, first cast. First cast, guys. Too easy. Please? Yeah, man. Doubled up, bro. Double up there. We chased the yeah. <laughs> Yeah, let's do Spanish. And, and eat them, right? That's right. Yeah, let's do it. These fish with teeth have just chewed my paddle tail all to pieces. And this is a mirror lure. Their plastic is a lot harder than, than most plastics. So I'm just going to break it off, shorten it up a little bit. There we go. Fish on. Fish on. <laughs> Spanish. Look at that. Oh, I was obviously it hit a artery or something, but. Yes. Wash it and now press. Okay, don't open no more. Don't open. Close it. Doing a little doctoring up. Spanish mackerel teeth just grazed right across my knuckle. Must have hit an artery because it was just shooting blood out. All right, 3:30. Been out here since 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock this morning. Ah, that's a good one. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna ask you to take a picture. What, 10, 12 pounds? Really? That's a good one, man. That's a good one. He's fat. Look at that. Wow. That's a fatty. What is on, up, man? my friend? That's how we train them. I was, huh? I was telling him they don't like strangers here. Only these guys catching them all. Because Dude, they know them. You've been hit, you've been like probably two hours out here. You yeah. haven't caught one yet. I, I've been catching the one the size of the shrimp that I've been throwing. <laughs> Look at the guy's got yeah. but look buckets full of black drum. Jeez. Bush has been out here two hours. He can't hook up with one. I've been out here since eight. They're catching them all around him. <laughs> Everybody, it'll be the, the first time right on the, on the uh, bottom I, like him. I can't yeah, complain. I might go on the bottom rig. Good size, man. Yeah. Perfect eaters.
There we go. It's on. I don't know. He hit it like a snook, but yeah, it's a he big, heavy fish. Yeah, good, 20 pound leader, oh, man. 20 pound leader. I hope I got him hooked in the yeah, top of the lip or something. Where do you want to get him off? Bro, I don't know. Wherever he wants to go, he's trying to get in the rocks. I have another five minutes. Yeah, yeah, follow him. Don't let him get in the rock. Got you? Oh man, that's not good. What was it? I didn't see it. Damn. Snook? I didn't see it. It was big. <laughs> it was big. Did he fray Snook, right? Did it wrap you or did it stray? No, he wrapped you, man. Oh my gosh, so. Now he got your pump. Seriously, I mean, that's the first fish that I have hooked in like three hours, four hours, probably. Yeah. Oh, dang, dude, that was a monster. He hit it like a bolt of lightning. Big shrimp just, bam, he hit it. He hit it just like a snook would hit it. I mean, just one solid lightning bolt hit. So, well, cotton picket. <laughs> yeah. I fished 30 pound leader like all day. I, I went down to 20 pounds. So the guy I was talking to, he said he fishes like 15. I'm like, for snook? Yeah. He's like, yeah, he said they're smart around they here. They are. See, I as soon as you drop 20, he I laid it down to 20. 20. Yeah. And I'm at 20 right now. That's yeah. how we get another. He just, he just got me in the junk. Yeah, I feel man. so bad. I was running. Yeah, I was a big, because you heard me. Fish yeah. out! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh, man. It's painful, guys. Oh man, that was a that was a big fish, baby. Yeah, going back in for another giant shrimp. There we go. Let's get them. Let's get them. They are re-rigged and ready to go. Whoa! Here we go. Fish on. Dude, that looks like a tarpon. It is a tarpon. Yeah, he pulled. <laughs> tarpon. First, first cast afterwards, man. All right, guys, we, we fished our arms off. We've been out here since 8.30. Oh, I don't yeah. know what it's time, like, like, what? like five, probably. No, no, it's like <laughs> almost seven now. Oh my almost gosh, almost seven. Yeah. Seven to seven, I guess, it, right? It just, yeah. Fish on channel, subscribe to his channel. He fishes like this all the time. He is a diehard. He fishes and fishes until he catches he'll fish. He'll catch a piece. That's yeah. right. And uh, yeah, he'll teach you how to catch them and he'll tell you where to catch them too. So um, we had a great day out here. That's fun, man. I we'll appreciate I appreciate the invite. He came down here last Thanks week or by, a man. couple weeks ago. So invited me to come down. But all right, guys, I'll have him linked in the description area. There we go. I'm uh, I'm camping here in Sebastian, Florida. I'm in a place called Donald McDonald Campground. This will be my second night staying here. I haven't really explored the campground, but right off the bat, guys, these sites are very private, a lot of trees and stuff. So if you stick with this little series I'm gonna do while I'm here in Sebastian, um, I'll be showing the campsite. Uh, $18 a night for a primitive site, pretty good deal listen we're gonna clean up and cook up some spanish mackerel i'm hungry it's like 12 hour day no i got 5 30 it's like 8 30 already at night so it's been a long freaking day of work and i gotta cook up some dinner so bring you guys along with me let's get them cleaned up and cook them up cleaned all those spanish mackerel and i didn't have my camera on i don't think all right let's get this dura flame log going here love camping good camping weather man it was in the 50s last night. There we go. Okay. 
Yeah, I wait for that Duraflame to get started good. Well, let's try. Okay. That should be good. I'm hungry, man. I worked up an appetite out there today. The question is, do I have any Lowry season salt? Let's do some all-purpose saison. Already, look at that. Nice. I love it, guys. I love it. A little bit of cayenne pepper. We'll add a little bit of heat on there. A little, little olive oil on the fillets first here. Look at me. <laughs> Welcome to Chef Rad's Kitchen. All right. All-purpose saison. This stuff is really good. I feel it's got some garlic in it. It's probably, when I get done with these fish, they're probably going to look like they've been blackened. And a uh, little bit of, whoa, a little bit of cayenne pepper for you. This saison complete all-purpose really is not very salty. I'm going to move that over this way anyway. There's more light. Dude, the mosquitoes are getting me. Yeah, here's these in some foil. Maybe a little olive oil first. Veggies on the foil. Cavenders, Greek seasoning, good stuff right here. Now this is pretty salty. You got to be careful with the cavenders. You can't can't overdo it. So. I need to. I really need to move. There's logs over this way. JC the pyro. <laughs> I love playing with fire. Okay. Don't play with fire, JC. You're going to get burnt. All right. And, uh, oh, yeah, here. We'll just throw that one on there, too. Maybe we won't. Oh. There. Okay, that'll cook our veggies. Nice. We got fire. Cooking with gas, baby. Oh. Olive oil in the pan. Guys, the veggies are sizzling good. All right, guys, this thing is this thing is smoking good here. Let's give them a drop. Well. Sunshine and salt, if you're watching, I'm doing that for you guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. Pan seared Spanish snack. Gonna be delicious. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that skin's burnt. Definitely done. Fire extinguisher. We're, here it is, right here. Fire extinguisher. Plastic wear. I like Spanish mackerel grilled. I really wanted to just grill these tonight, but uh, these guys are probably done. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at that. Colorful. Green, yellow, red. Oh, that's looking really good. Looking good, looking good. The light of the lantern. Yep, looking really, really good. That fish, oh yeah. Here we go, digging in. Spanish has a little bit of a uh, kind of a mushy texture to it. Not a raw, not a strong fishy flavor, but I like it with the skin left on like that. 
gives a little crunch. That's good, man. Not bad at all. And uh, my veggies, they are piping hot, man. The steam's coming off of those. Yes, sir. A little bit of Cavender's Greek seasoning love. That's the goodness. You got all that color. You got the green and the yellow and the red. Those peppers, those peppers add a nice flavor to the uh, zucchini and the squash. Mmm. I like that combination. If you guys haven't seen my other video, for dessert, we are going to have dark chocolate Hershey's Kisses along with some strawberries. So I call this poor man's chocolate strawberries, not chocolate covered strawberries. Eat a little chocolate, bite a little strawberry. Just as good as any high class expensive chocolate covered strawberry that I've ever had. I like milk chocolate, but dark chocolate's supposed to be good for your heart. Almonds and walnuts, dark chocolate, as long as you don't overindulge. 9.30. I've been working 16 hours today. Two thumbs up. 10 out of 10. Finally. <laughs> it's after 10 o'clock. Sitting here by the fire. Turn the trail camera on here. Thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, thumbs up for appreciating everybody. Get out there and go fishing, man. Life is fun. Yeah. Live it. See ya. Bye.